Some people carve them, some people chunk them. I'm going to show you how to draw one. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pumpkin. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Okay, for this project you'll need a piece of paper. I'm just using copy paper. You'll need a pencil and you'll need an eraser and something to color with. Now to start off our pumpkin, we're going to start by turning the paper horizontally in the landscape way and then we need a we're going to make a big kind of a letter C on the left side. I'm just kind of sketching this out. So I'm drawing lightly and loosely and then I'll make these lines better once I get further along. Okay, so big letter C. Then I'll go the other direction and this will be a backward C. And you pretty well fill your paper, but there is room below and room above. We're more interested in the room above if it goes down towards the bottom, that's okay. Then I'm going to make a little kind of a bump here at the bottom and a bump here at the top. Now, this is all going to change shape here in just a little bit. First thing though, I want to, after I have my shapes, the outline of the pumpkin, the basic outline, I'm going to go make a line down the center. And pumpkins, the way they are, they're kind of segmented. They're in, they appear in segments. So we're going to kind of break this up into different segments. So right here in the middle I'm going to make a curve and go around to the bottom just like that and then I can do the same thing the other direction curves around and joins up here at the bottom and then I'm going to make a second curve now on the second curve I'm going to go actually a little bit higher than that C that I had and then go around kind of divide that portion up into two parts and then curve under like that. They're two almost equal parts right here. Okay and then the last part I'll make a little bit of a bump here and go around. Now what I have here then is I've changed the contour. I've changed the outside edge by making these separate bumps for each segment, each section. Okay and then I'm going to do the same thing the other way. It's going to go up a little bit higher and it's going to kind of divide this section into also in two equal parts. This goes down maybe a little bit below like that. And then the last one I'll go up to this a little bit higher than what I had already and then curve around here and go down just a little bit too. Make a curve in like that. Okay so this is the basic design of the pumpkin. Now I can go back and make my lines darker because this is where I want them to be. You could finish this off in black and white, but I think it will look better if you color it in. And I'm going to make some recommendations on what you can do with that. Alright, we've got these that half done. Now this half, I'm going to make this shape curve a little bit more at the bottom. Make this a little darker here. Okay, now, the next step is to put the stem at the top. I'm going to go up here above and make an oval that's slanted. And this will be where the stem has broken off from the vine. And then I'm going to draw from the left side down and slant it at an angle, kind of curve it in that direction and curve this down this direction. Okay, and then I'm going to make two lines in here that kind of slant from the middle outward. Just like that. Okay, so this is the basic pumpkin design. Now you can color this in just as it is and just have a pumpkin as a, as a decoration or a, a, rem, a reminder of fall, something to do with fall. Um, one way to color this in is to just use, I would, one thing I like doing is taking a marker, maybe an orange marker, and outline all these, go over these lines and then color the inside with a crayon or colored pencil. So you have two different areas, a darker line on the outside and a lighter shade of the same color on the inside. So orange on the outside, orange on the inside. Up here on the stem, you could either use brown or green, but again, I would outline it with marker 
and then go back in and use either color pencil or crayon with making it lighter on the inside. Okay, so that would be for a regular pumpkin. You could also um, turn this into a drawing of a jack-o'-lantern. You might do more of a traditional type of a jack-o'-lantern. Here's one again with the same idea where I've used markers to outline and then I use crayon to color the, the lighter areas. You could also do uh, make up uh, some other kind of a face that you would put on a pumpkin. Sometimes people do pumpkin painting where they just paint faces or pictures on the pumpkin. So here I made this look like a more of a pumpkin painting. But the same idea, I outlined with marker and then I filled in with crayon. So that's our project for today, a pumpkin. If you'd like to show me the pumpkin that you drew, just paste it in the comments below. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Hi, bye.